what's up guys we're gonna bro beats today i'm trying to make a no cap type beat and if you guys haven't subscribed already make sure you do hit that sub button because it does help me out a lot so let's just grab in a scale real quick um c minor does sound pretty good with guitars and stuff but i'm gonna go a little bit lower and choose like a d minor or something so we can go like a d sharp uh, minor all right so let's type that in bpm doesn't really matter just whatever you prefer let's close that here are my plugins. We got two guitars. All right. Then for arcade, I made my own custom kit. All right. And how you do that is usually you would come to the feed and I usually just press see all. Okay. And then from here, instead of kits, I go to loops and I kind of just pick what loops I like and I just drag them in. You can see the ones I favorited. Okay. You can just drag them in here and then you can play them. All right, and then let's actually change this to D sharp. All right, so now we're gonna start with the chords and we're gonna make you some complex chords. And I do have a video on that if you wanna learn that in more detail. And basically a complex chord is just anything that, that doesn't follow the regular like rules. So basically you skip every other, every other note to make a chord, right? That's like what most people do. Complex chord would be something like, something like this, right? It doesn't follow that rule. So let's do that. So how would we do that is start on root, make a basic chord, take that middle note, pull it up an octave, and let's take these, copy it, pull those up an octave, and now you get a complex chord. And you can see it does not follow that rule, right? So now let's start on the next one. And for this one, we could just do something easy. Let's actually do that rule. Okay, and then we can make a complex score out of this. And basically you're just gonna take these notes and you can flip them up an octave or down an octave. So I'm gonna pull this one up and then we can pull this one down to kind of spread it out and you get something complex. And this is something you would probably see if you don't know anything about music or anything you probably be like how did they get this right all right so i'm gonna go a little bit faster on this part um i'm not gonna too much explain i'm gonna just go through because it's the same steps so Okay, so that's like the first step. So now the second step, once you have your chord progression is to kind of make it sound like a guitar now. And really, you don't have to do every single one. Um, I usually just do like the front two. I'll probably do something like this. All right, oh, something like this, and then maybe move a few back. But I'm gonna just go in order, like a art kind of, not an art, but kind of like strum it a little bit. So let's go here. Okay, so I like that. So now what we're gonna do is kind of make the melody up here. All right, so 
with this we could just look at the notes we already have to kind of start so i'm looking at this a sharp i'm probably going to use that somewhere like maybe here okay so i'm gonna go ahead and make this melody All right, so there are our chords. All right, so all we're gonna do now is just copy everything over and I'm gonna make this melody a little bit longer. And then from here, we could just copy this to every other thing. All right, so I'll play it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is use this arcade. And can I just go through the sound? So I'm gonna start with this one. And I'm gonna need to EQ and everything, but I'll do that later. Oh. 
Right, so let's EQ this stuff a bit not EQ but uh, pan it and everything so with the EQs all I did beforehand is just take out lows and a little bit of the highs depending on the instrument and then I have portal and I'll show you the preset it's called chatterback to chatterbox and I did modify it a bit because it was kind of doing too much and I just turned this uh, halfway down about so that's why it's like got a bunch of like echoes and stuff in there. So now let's pan this real quick. Okay, I think that's good. So now we're gonna start on the drums. All right, so we're gonna start with the 808 and with the drums and stuff, I kinda like to, I don't like to do too much. I kinda like to space them out just a bit and put the kick in a bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So let's start on, what's a good point to start? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna just play this. Let me zoom in a bit. Why is it just playing? No. Probably just go lower. And I'm not gonna tell this is already getting too low. All right, so yeah, that's extra low. Okay, so that's decent. So now what we're gonna do is start a pattern two. And put it like this. And then now let's do our actual drums now. So let's put our snare down first. Turn it up a bit. And I guess we just might have to double it. All right. So let's put our kick. Wait for the play.
So I'm just spacing it out, spacing everything out a bit. All right. Not doing anything really too crazy. And then we can just add these perks in. Just keep it simple. Now let's move this all over. I think that goes right there. And that goes there. And then let's finish our kick. So I think we're pretty much done. So now let's just play it all together. And we can just play it here. Alright, so that's how you make a no cap type beat. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.